team on a product to sell produce it in the world. How is this helping the company expand its overseas module supply? I think that's uh, really helped us a lot. Uh, right now, as more and more customers are realizing the benefit of having high efficiency, high energy yield, you know, mono, mono per, uh, product. Actually, we are one of the players enabling this trend by delivering low cost, you know, com cost competitive mono wafers to the market. We have seen that across the board, right? Be it either the utility customers and also the, you know, historically probably it's more uh, distribution generation customers, be it the residential or CNI customers, more focused on high energy, high power, you know, uh, modules. Now, nowadays, actually, more and more utility customers also realize the benefit, right? Can help them to save on the BOS and also, you know, uh, effectively, you know, the LCOE level. And how far can one go? I think there's still a very long runway, right? So nowadays, I think uh, if you just look at the, for the last couple of years, uh, model per efficiency have improved from about 20, a little bit over 20 ish up to right now about 22%. Uh, very recently, we have demonstrated in model per cell efficiency a record of. 24.06%, right? So there's still a, a long way, you know, I think to, for the real production to catch up, to realize the full benefit of mono perk. And besides that, right, you have other, you know, uh, techni technologies to enable to deliver better power output per module level, and also higher energy yield, right? Be it, you know, from the mono perk itself, and also one big step is the bifacial. Right, which have another say somewhere between five and twenty-five percent uh, backside gain. This is effectively you are looking at say five percent. You look at about one percent absolute cell efficiency improvement. So twenty-five percent, another five percent. Right. So you see uh, this. I think we see a uh, mono perk, including bifacial, probably the main work workhorse right for the next few years to drive help us deliver help our customers to achieve better LCOE. Today you have seen, you know, you have heard that both JA and Canadian shipped multi hundred megawatt by facial modules last year, and we have seen that similar strong, you know, demand in our customer space and uh, for the bifacial product. So Longy's obviously just announced a major cell expansion here in Malaysia. How is that going to help you service international markets going forward? How important is that? That's actually is a good testament to see that there is a strong demand on the high efficiency mono mono per product, right? So our expansion in Malaysia mostly targeted for US market, right? And you see that is a, a good because there's a strong customer demand there. We see there is a gap in terms of customer demand versus what can be supplied in terms of high efficiency mono per product. That's why we expand, you know, uh, overseas capacities. How important do you find events like this one, the PV Cell Tech Conference, when you're looking at the roadmap, I guess, for cell technology going forward? This is, I think, good opportunity to see what everyone is doing, what they are going after, right, in the next few years. And also, probably can sh provide some direction to our customers to see what they will see in the marketplace, what they expect in terms of a power output, in terms of modules they're going to receive.